Hi everyone, it's Amanda here from the farm. Welcome to week three of our summer CSA. This week our share for two can expect to find green kale. This is one of the many varieties of kale that we grow. Um, this one is a bit more ruffly to the edges as opposed to the red or the black kale. Um, the stems are a little thick on these, but they can be eaten as well. Um, if you're going to saute this, I would just cook the stems a little bit longer, throw them in the pan first to saute, and then put the, chop the leaves and put those in. Uh, beets, and the beet greens on these are edible as well. Um, if you're not going to eat the beets right away, I would suggest chopping off the tops. That way the beets aren't going to dry out as quickly. Eat the greens first, and then come back to the beets. They'll last for a little bit of time red lettuce, and we'll also have two heads of broccoli in our share for two. Stay tuned to see what's in our family share. Our family sizes can expect to find two bunches of green kale, a bunch of red beets, red lettuce, savanna mustard spinach, as well as three heads of broccoli. Our fruit chairs this week can expect to find strawberries and cherries. And don't forget that we have our eggs available here as well. We hope you enjoy what we have for you this week. Until next time, I'm Amanda from the farm. Eat healthy, eat local. A farm food fact for everyone today, we're gonna talk a little bit about beets. All right, now beets here, uh, they originated in ancient Rome. And originally, they only ate the beet greens, which was kind of interesting. Um, no one really ever ate the beets um, until uh, northern Africa, I do believe, is when they decided to eat the beets. And later in time is when these became uh, popular for beet sugar. Um, so that's when beets really increased in their value. Uh, they have great nutrient values as well. They're high, great for antioxidants, anti-inflammatory, and they also provide detoxification support as well. Um, they include a phytonutrient called betalines, and these help in all three of those areas that we just talked about. Um, now the betalines, when you cook the beets for a longer amount of time, these phytonutrients deplenish a little bit. So when the, it's recommended that if you're going to steam your beets, that you shouldn't steam them for no more than 15 minutes, or if you're going to roast your beets, you should keep your roasting times under an hour. That's so you don't deplete those healthy nutrients that all these beets are going to give you. We hope you enjoyed your farm food fact for today. Until next time, I'm Amanda from the farm. Eat healthy, eat local.